How many pounds of sugar do you think the average American consumes in a year? Five pounds? <laughs> I don't know. Two pounds? Maybe 20 pounds of sugar. 20 pounds? About 25. Maybe like 50 pounds. 50 pounds? Say about 400 pounds, maybe? Oh, a year? Oh, probably thousands of pounds. Oh, I think guess. they consume way too much. Wow, that was quite a variety of opinions we saw there. So, what are the facts? They're not even close. Um, actually, the average American eats 175 pounds of sugar a year. 175 pounds of sugar a year. Right, which is about a half a pound a day. So this is a half a pound of sugar. It's 64 teaspoons of sugar. And that's what the average person is consuming every day. Where are we getting all this sugar? Well, most of it is coming from sweetened beverages. And so I want to do a little something um, with you. This is a 20 ounce container of a beverage. And the label, and I've already done the math for you, um, tells us that it contains 17 teaspoons of sugar. Wow. So I want you to put 17 teaspoons of sugar into this bottle so we can see what that looks like. Right now, right, right here? Right, and I'll help you count. Thank you. <laughs> oh, boy. Just push them in there. One, One two, two, three, three, 14, 15, 16, 17. So take a look at that. That's how much sugar is just in this one beverage container. I got to say, I'm disgusted. <laughs> That's gross. Okay. So let's set this over here and talk about some of the other places that sugar comes from because it's not only from the things that we drink. And a lot of people will say, well, I don't drink soda, so I'm cool and not a problem. But it's coming from a lot of the packaged and processed foods that we eat, too. There's a lot of added sugar in processed food, and some of them have quite a lot of sugar added to them. For example, a breakfast cereal. So I want you to pour into this bowl just the amount of cereal that you think a person might serve themselves for breakfast in the morning. The, the typical American right. person? Yeah, I mean, this is your breakfast cereal bowl. How, you know, fill it with okay. what you would normally serve yourself. Now, I don't eat this stuff, so it's not oh, me. Okay. <laughs> All right. We're talking about the person that has half a pound a day. I'd say probably something like that. Okay. So I'm going to look at the label on this box. And the label tells me that one serving of this cereal has about four teaspoons of sugar in it. And one serving is one cup. So let me show you what one cup. One cup is that much. Wow, so this is probably almost four times that. Yeah, what you poured in there, and I measured beforehand the capacity of that bowl, is about three servings. So this bowl of cereal has 12 teaspoons of sugar in it. Well, who determines what a serving size is anyways? It doesn't seem to me like people actually eat that much cereal when they serve themselves. So the food manufacturers actually determine what a serving size mm. is. And in cereal, it can range from a half a cup to a cup, um, and that is, it's really their determination, but the nutrition information on the label is all related to the size of that serving. Uh -huh. So that's why I could look at that box and tell you that there are four teaspoons of sugar in this in serving, that. which is probably, 16 probably or so. less than most people would serve themselves. I would say the almost certainly. But don't we need sugar, Darlene? Is, isn't sugar an important calorie, uh, source of calories that we need to have energy and be alive? It is a source of calories, but we don't need the added sugar. We get enough sugar uh, from the carbohydrates and the sort of foods that we eat during the day without having all the added sugar from these products oh, that okay. we're buying. So it's the additional sugar that right. the manufacturers put in to sweeten up the flavor to, to get us it, to eat right, more of it. Exactly, exactly. And that's how we get to that half a pound a day. Wow. So you're going through your day. Now we've seen we've had, um, we've had a drink. We've had breakfast, and let's say it's the afternoon, and you're going to take a little break from work, get up from your desk, go down to the vending machine, and get another something to drink and a snack for yourself. So not a not an uncommon kind of afternoon snack for you know. Sure, a little pick, afternoon little break. pick me up in the afternoon. Right. Keep those brain cells functioning for the rest of the day. So we have already seen how much sugar is in one of these, 17 teaspoons. And 
I'm going to look at the label on the back of this package, which tells me that this snack has about 12 teaspoons of sugar in this bag. And I can tell it because the package will tell me grams, and there are four grams of sugar in one teaspoon. Okay. So we can figure that out. So there are 12 and teaspoons a cube, of sugar. A cube is a teaspoon. A cube is a teaspoon. And there are four grams of sugar in this cube. Right. Or in a teaspoon. Okay. Right. So this package has 12 teaspoons of sugar in it. So let's look wow. at what we've had so far. We've had two drinks, mm -hmm. we've had breakfast, and we've had a snack in the afternoon. We've had all together 58 teaspoons of sugar. Wow. And the half a pound is 64. So if you think that it's really almost unimaginable we could be eating that much sugar, we're very close. And if you look at what we've had. And we haven't had dessert yet. <laughs> And we haven't eaten anything that really has a lot of nutrition in it. Mm -hmm. We've had, you know, two sodas, some cereal, and candy, basically. So the rest of the day, um, we may have another one of these products and really push us over the edge. And then we're even ahead of that average American who eats the half a pound a day. So what do people need to know about this? What, how, do they, how do they protect themselves from all of this added sugar that's in so many of the products in some ways in, in ways that we don't even suspect it or know. Well, the best thing to do is to eat fresh, whole food, like fruits and vegetables, and stay away as much as you can from all of the packaged and processed foods. And, um, you know, as a beverage, drink water. Water has absolutely no sugar in it. It's the best thing for our bodies to, uh, as a drink. And um, you can replace at least one of these with water. I want to tell you that, um, and you may be surprised to know, drinking one 20 ounce sugared soda a day, every day for a year, will cause you to gain 26 pounds in a year. 26 just, pounds? Just from the calories that are in From this. one of these one of a day, day for a year is 26 yes. pounds? 26 pounds. Oh my goodness, how much exercise would we have to do to get rid of that? Well, a lot, a lot. Yeah. And that's the other recommendation is to get some regular physical activity. 30 to 60 minutes a day would be um, optimum, um, but any physical activity will help and um, we can f sort of fight the effects of all of this wow. sugar that we're having. Now, some of these products in the last minute that we have are products that many of us have on a regular basis, either uh, on a weekly basis or in some cases on a daily basis. Anything that you can say to people about substitutions that they might want to think about for some of these products? Well, you know, it's unrealistic to think that people are going to cut all of this out at once. And so if you're eating something on a daily basis, you might want to think about having it twice a week or cutting back on that. And then replace it with something like fruits and vegetables and or something that's a uh, fresh food rather than something that comes in a package. Very good advice.